What's going on, guys? Marky Williams from the YouTube channel, Online Certification Courses here. I'm going to give you five reasons why online learning is more effective. So let's go. Online learning has been on the rise in recent years, and it's really not hard to see why. On the one hand, e-learning courses have become hugely popular by the simple virtue of being so much more convenient than traditional face-to-face -face courses. Students can fix them around their existing responsibilities and commitments and can engage with multimedia content and learning materials at whatever time is most convenient to them. Even better, they don't have to travel anywhere to study. They can simply log in to the virtual campus from the comfort of their own home or office. There's a second reason why online learning has become so popular. It's cheaper. Costs can often be a prohibitive factor in why individuals, students, don't enroll in courses they're interested in. This is also an issue for corporations who wish to encourage their employees to undergo further training but don't have much time or budget for conferences and training courses. Online courses are easily accessible in much smaller budgets. In addition to the convenience and the cost, a large number of students are turning to online learning courses because they have become a better way to learn. Those students who are serious about improving their understanding, learning new skills, and gaining valuable qualifications are keen to enroll in the type of course that will be the most effective. It's been found that participants learn five times more material in online learning courses using multimedia content than in traditional face-to-face -face courses. Because online courses give students full control over their own learning, students are able to work at their own speed. Generally, students work faster than they would do otherwise and take in more information. They are able to move faster through areas of the course they feel comfortable with, but slower through those that they need a little more time on. Many offline courses struggle to retain students throughout the length of the course. The Research Institute of America has found that this is not the case with e-learning. Rather, online courses have increased students' retention rate from anything from 25 to 60%. It's been suggested that more engaging multimedia content, more control over how they take in the material, and less likelihood of classes clashing with other commitments all contribute to this rise. Many students are put off enrolling in a face-to-face -face course due to the time investment it will require. This generally involves the time to get back and forth to classes, plus the time spent waiting for tutors and other students. A Brandon Hall report on e-learning within corporations found that this style of learning typically requires 40 to 60 percent less employee time than learning in a traditional classroom setting. It is also key to note that e-learning options generally allow students to split the time they are investing in with the course in which whichever works for them. They don't need to be able to be dedicated to a large chunk of a time to the course. It'll work just as well if they can set aside half an hour from their lunch break each day. One of the great things about online courses is that assessment can become more of an ongoing process. This is good news for students as interspering multimedia content and learning materials with regular short tests can improve students' engagement. In fact, research from Harvard show that using these short regular tests have students' distractions, triple note taken, and students' overall retention of the content improved. It's also worth noting that the more often students are assessed, the better their tutor are able to keep track of their progress. Increased students tracking means that tutors are able to step in earlier when assisting is needed. Online learning is certainly the more effective option for students while they save time, gas, and money when commuting, paying for parking, and so forth, but it's also better for the environment. The Open University in Britain have found that online courses equate to an average of 90% less energy and 85% fewer CO2 emissions per student than traditional in-person courses. This certainly makes online learning in multimedia content a more effective method of education overall. Promoting and engaging in this kind of learning can help both individuals and corporations to do their bit for the environment and stick to their own personal environmental goals. 
What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out my tutorial. Please make sure you like, subscribe, comment below as to what you want to get certified in. I could personally send you a link to check out. Make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on any new trend and certification courses that you may like. Also, I'm going to leave you five top remote jobs that you could get certified in and that you could work from home. So go ahead and check it out. The links will be down below. Many thanks. Margie Williams and I'm out.